How to install Android 12 Beta 4 from the Google Pixel 5 on the Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android 12 Beta 4 from the Google Pixel 5 on the Poco X3 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another important thing I would like to tell you is that I will be switching from Xiaomi EU but the process will remain the same even if you are switching from say stock me UI or if you are switching from a custom ROM which is based on AOSP or CAF so here we are I do have the international variant of the Poco X3 Pro which right now is running Xiaomi EU version 12.5.3 based on Android 11. Do note this video or this process will work even if you have the Indian variant of the Poco X3 Pro codenamed Bima and even if you are on a custom ROM or if you are on stock MIUI just skip the steps which are not applicable to you. So first of all we will go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done go back, go into me account and remove your me account and of course those of you who are running custom ROMs based on AOSP or CAF you won't have the option of removing your me account. Then we can go into accounts and sync and remove our Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We are doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next up, what are the files which you need? Now all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video and you need only one file and this here is the Android 12 Beta 4 port from the Google Pixel 5. Do note this is a zip file. Next thing we need to do is we need to turn our device off and once the device has turned off we are going to press and hold power and volume up together till we see the recovery logo and we are using the TWRP recovery built by Nebrasi for the purpose of this video and here it is we have successfully booted into our custom recovery which is TWRP of course we are still on the splash screen here it is touch drivers loaded everything working without any issues go into wipe advanced wipe select Dalvik data and cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the Android 12 beta 4 zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder if you transfer it manually you would know the location all you need to do is select this file and then swipe to confirm flash now once the file has flashed successfully you might notice some errors and here are the errors fail to mount some partitions these can be ignored again these can be ignored because we are getting the message of successfully flashed and we're going to tap on the home button in case you get any other message other than that make sure that you can go into the mount section and none of these are mounted so make sure system system ext product vendor odm none of these should be checked because if they are checked then you are going to get an error when you are trying to flash this build next up we will tap on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and as you can see one format data was done we got the same mount errors one more time again these can be ignored all you need to do now is select reboot system and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco x3 pro which means we are booting into android 12 beta 4 from the google pixel 5 on our device the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient 
and welcome to Google Pixel. Google services or speech services is crashing. Close the application Android beta program. Select OK and this message you might get at every boot and there is nothing wrong with your device. It is what it is. Learn to live with it. And now let me skip the initial setup real quick. And there it is. We are on the home screen. Let us go into settings and then we can go into about phone. Of course, over here it will show as the Google Pixel 5. And here, and if I tap on the Android version, bam, here it is. Android version is 12. We do have the Easter egg from Android 12 as well, which should be good enough to prove that this is Android 12 beta 4 installed like a boss on the Poco X3 Pro. And there it is, peeps. That will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.